Hi everyone, this is Patty Swartz. I am the Systems Administrator here at the Electrical Materials Company. Today I'm just going to briefly go over the SharePoint site that I created for the Silica Advanced Materials Group. Let's get started. I'm going to show you first part of our internal SharePoint, that is our company intranet which will soon be available to all of our employees. We are currently have another one up and running. This is going to replace the one that's uh, running right now. And it's basically for our employees to access our ISO procedures, our specs, our EIs, TMPs, all this fun stuff. And they're basically links that take them to the documents. And there is a search feature, which I will show you on the Silica website which can find specific information or forms or specs or EIs that the employee could need. So yes, it's basically a website that holds information, but it can also do so much more. I'm going to sign out of our work account, which is part of our Office 365, just so we don't get confused. On to the SharePoint Silica site. After this video, I will be sending out an email invitation. And it looks just like this. And this is going to the email that I have on record with you. So as you can see, I sent this to my outside work, which is my Gmail account. So it has absolutely nothing to do with my Office 365 because I wanted you to see how to get into the system without having Office 365. So this is basically a link and all you do is click once, or twice, and it's telling you welcome to SharePoint Online. Now I do have a Microsoft account outside of work, so that's what I'm going to use and you will see that it is tied to my Hotmail. Even though I signed in using Gmail, my Microsoft account is tied to my old Hotmail account. So we're gonna sign in, type in my super secret, secret password, and let's see if it'll let me in. Slowly but surely. And there we are at the United Stars Advanced Materials Group. Uh, this is a generic page that I created just in case we have other groups or sites that we want to add. And those will be added along the top here. Now let me just say, if I did not have that link and the Microsoft account, it would not let me in here. Now the one step beyond is that you have to be part of the Silica group, which I created behind the scenes, detailing every single one of you within this group. So if you're not part of this group, you cannot get to this. If you want someone to have access to this that is not currently in the group, um, you can try and send them the link, but they're not gonna be able to get into unless you give them your Microsoft account login information which I don't recommend you do. Uh, they need to be added per the permissions security within SharePoint. So you just send me an email saying, I want to add this person to our group. I can do it and then I will send them the invitation to join the site. So again, this is a generic one. Like I said, we'll be adding other groups as needed. And as you can see, I have the Silica group started up here. And it basically is looking like a web page, and that's basically what it is. Uh, we have the title up here. Two most important things you always want to remember is your home, because that will bring you back to this page, because if you start going in other areas and get lost, hit the home button. That will bring you back here. The other is your search. This is a very powerful search, because it not only search what's on this page, but is also, we'll search what is within files, emails, or anything else that is contained within the site. So just to go over a few other things, 
Um, over here we have a little sidebar. Again, that's your home page, which is what you are on. Within this, uh, these are just announcements. So as you can see, I created a generic announcement just to give you an idea. Welcome to the Silica Team site. Uh, you can put an expiration on it. We can close that out. That's for just a general announcement. And you would just hit here to create a new amount, announcement. It's that simple. Down here in the news feed is kind of like a continuously running conversation blog, however you want to describe it. So you just basically start typing away. You can add pictures as you can see right here too. Uh, this is something that Dan and I added this morning from his computer. As you can see, it tells you who posted it and when they posted it. You see these three little dots, it has some other options, but it has the like, just like you would like something in Facebook, or you can hit the reply if you want to link it to this specific topic. Now this will just grow and grow as more and more people add things to this area. This area over here, documents, uh, as you can see I've just put in some sample documents. So I have a picture, and I'll just open that. You just click on the link, and there's a casting that is cut in half, so you can see that if you want to share something. Um, <clears throat> I also have a PDF. And as you can see, I just hit the back button, and it brings me back here. This is an email. Uh, this is what I have been working with trying to set up to make it as easy as possible if you want to drag an email into SharePoint. And I will show that to you, but that's exactly what this is. I'm just going to have it open. And there you go. It looks just like an email would on your desktop. The other parts I will go over, let's go to the notebook. Notebook is basically a notebook. And you can see I just created some sample sections. And again, if you want to keep something separate from the main page, you can just start typing away, just like you would in a notebook to keep track. I'm going to use the back button. Take me back. Okay, the documents here are exactly what these documents are. So it's just, just going to show you them on a separate page. Tasks. Now I had this on the front page, but it was taking up too much space in my opinion. We can put it back on there. But it's basically a task that you want to create and put on a timeline so everyone can see the progress. There's your calendar. Which you can add anything to. Site contents is just what is contained within the SharePoint site. You have access to view this so you're more than welcome to. Just shows you the different parts. In the recycle bin, if something deletes, if somebody deletes something accidentally, uh, it can be uh, revived from our recycle bin here. So let's go back to the home. And let's say somebody wants to add a file over here. So I'm going to minimize my screen a little here. Not that small. Let's get a little bigger there. And let's say I have this fun little movie I want to add. So you can basically just drag that and drop. And you can see I've added a movie. And you can see it's under my Hotmail account. That's how I logged in. 
this is how I log in under my Office 365. So it's recognizing me as an authenticated user. Again, you have to be part of the permission and security to be able to do any of this. As far as an email, uh, we've had to work around because Microsoft is changing how their site mailbox works. So I don't want to get involved in the Office 365 groups because it can be rather confusing. Um, so we're going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Let's say we have a email here and I want it to go into the SharePoint site. So you're basically going to drag it to your desktop. And I already did that earlier, testing it. So we're going to copy and replace. So here's the email. I'm going to minimize my email. And again, just drag it up into this area. And there it is adding it right there. So you can see it full. Again, this is available for anybody to see on here or in the documents page. It's just a different way of viewing it away from the home page. Now what I suggest when you do get to this page initially, the best way so you don't have to go back to that email to get the link is to save it to your favorites bar, as you can see right here. So let's say I've had enough fun for today, so I'm going to log out or close just close your browser. It will also log you out. And let's say I can't get to my Gmail because I just forgot the password how to get in. So we're going to close everything up. And I want to go into the Silica site. I got the little bookmark here. It's going to ask me how I want to go in. I'll go back in as my Hotmail. Again, it's going to ask me for the password. Top secret. And I'm back in. You can have it remember your password too. So if you don't want to type your password every time, go here, go here, click on the link. You can stay signed in if you like. Or again, keep me signed in right here. So you don't have to do this every time you want to go into it. You can leave it open if you like if there's a lot of stuff going on but I suggest if you do that to always refresh so you see the latest and greatest because stuff could be happening and it's not syncing up to your browser and the key on your keyboard the F5 is a refresh you just want to refresh the screen and it will give you the latest and greatest at all times again if I close this go back here it should remember me this time without asking my password. That's pretty much the ideal way to get into it. Again, you want to remember always, if you can't get back, either close the browser and then come back to your home page. And then the search feature I wanted to show you. Uh, Dan and I had played with this earlier. So I know Carpenter is mentioned in his little statement down here. So I want to search on Carpenter. And there it is. It brings it up. If I go back to my home. And if I want to search on casting, because I titled my picture, We have a document. And I also have it in the descriptions. Hey, 
And if you don't have permissions, you will get this message. And if you'd like access, all you have to do is hit the request. So again, the search tool, any word within a file or within text or in an announcement or a task, you can search on. Always remember your home button. That will get you back to this page because it's very easy to get lost sometimes. If you're in something, if you're typing away, and you get a notification that somebody added something and you want to see it but you can't get back to it. You can go here and it takes you back. You can upload documents here. You can add links. I put a, posted a link down here for the OSHA site just so you know. Again, that's going to take you to another website, so you want to remember the back button up here. It's opening up in a new window, actually, so if we just close that, it takes you right back to where you are. So dive right in. Uh, start adding some content. If you have any questions or need any help, uh, I'm here to assist you. Thanks for your time, and have fun.